The functions of Pill Advised are to give you the following kinds of information. Number one, negative or adverse drug supplement interactions among the drugs and supplements that you have listed. Number two, nutrient depletion effects of drugs or supplements that you're taking. For example, if you're taking calcium supplements, they can decrease the amount of zinc that you absorb from food. And there are many drugs that deplete nutrients from your body. Number three, interactions between the drug or the supplement and food. Also included in this section are interactions with sun, because there are many drugs and supplements that increase your sensitivity to the sun, increasing your risk of burning or developing skin rashes. Number four is good interactions. These are the beneficial interactions that can exist among the drugs and supplements that you already have listed. Number five, more you should know, is a section on possible interactions. Um, and those are interactions that theoretically might occur, that might have occurred in a test tube, but have never actually been described in a human. But I think if the information is out there, you should have access to it. Section number six is, for me, the most exciting part of Pill Advised and the most unique. Here you have a list of all of the drugs and supplements that you're taking or that you've put on your list and supplements that you have not listed that may be helpful in enhancing the activity of those drugs or decreasing their side effects. And that allows you to understand the possibilities for improving your health status.